everyone. Okay, so today's tutorial is another Aztec nail and I am using again the Andrea Professional Gel Polish. I've got their top and base coat here. I've got the white which is number 218. I've got a peachy sort of orange which is number 213 and I've got their black which is number 240. I've also got a striping brush which I got from Bundle Monster. I've got a fine detailed brush which is from Irresistible so I'll pop the link to that below. And I've just got a tile here just to decant some polish on. Okie doke, so what I've done to start is I've already done and cured two coats of the white. So the next step is to decant some black polish onto my tile. So I'll do that and I'll be okay, back. So I'm using my striping brush here. So it's a nice long striping brush, as I said, from Bundle Monster. I will pop the link to that below. Now I'm getting some black on my tile, which is just there. And I'm going to soak up my brush. Oh, put my brush in the black and not too much on the brush. Now I'm going to do a V on the nails here. So I'm from the from the top. I'm going to do a V, and hopefully I can do this without wrecking it. So I only want to go halfway through. So to about there, and then the same the other side. Now I'm terrible with these striping brushes, so hopefully this will give you a rough idea. And you can go in and tidy up any mistakes you make, so don't worry if it crosses over. I'm just going in and tidying that up a bit. Oops, and making it worse. Okay, so I've cocked that up, so... Ugh, I didn't say cocked up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll just show you how you correct that. Next step is I've decanted some of the black on my tile. I'm just popping my striping brush in and loading up the colour and moving the brushes out of the way because they're jingling and I'm going to make a V on the nail so I'll try and do this as best as I can I've got the worst wobbly hands at the moment so to about the middle and then again the other side match it up as best you can and you can correct this that is a bit lopsided but you'll get the general idea so I'm just going to go in and make that a bit more opaque and try and do it a bit straighter and then I'm going to do the same thing a bit further down the nail because the only reason I'm doing this second layer is if you get someone with longer nails just to show you what you can do a bit further down. I mean, obviously, you don't get someone with nails this length every day. But So about halfway down, I'm going to do it again. Hopefully, it will be the same So to about the middle. And theoretically, this should match up, but it probably won't knowing my luck. So just match it up there as best you can. So you've got two V's and I'm just going to just make that a little bit neater and I'm going to pop that in the lamp for two okay, minutes. So that's cured for two minutes. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in this top triangle or triangle-ish shape with these um, sort of peachy orange I've got. So that's a nice colour. I like that. So just run your brush along the black line just really carefully. It's quite easy to these brushes are actually really good from um, Irresistible. I've been quite happy with these. I saw another YouTuber, Jenny Smith, using these. And so I got some sent over from the UK. So, yep, really happy. They're nice quality. They're easy to use. So I'm just going to fill that in. And I will do a second coat of that just to make sure it's nice and opaque. So it's a little bit lumpy at the moment or not lumpy just uneven at the moment so I'm going to pop that in the lamp for two minutes and I'm going to come back when I've done the second cured okay, coat. So that's been in the lamp for two minutes there's two coats on there so it's nice and opaque now the next step, step is the detailing around the black it's supposed to be quite a simple nail so um, let's see if I can do it actually I'm just thinking I'm Okay, so I've cheated a bit here and I've gone ahead and coloured the bottom half of the nail in orange and I've done my first little triangle. Now I'm going to repeat that on the bottom V and just try and keep it parallel or it, the following on from the lines that you originally did. You just want a little tiny triangle. And sorry, I don't know whether you can see that. And you can just remember, I've, you can neaten that up and I'm just going to actually get rid of that because I've just made a mess. So, remember, a brush with isopropyl alcohol should theoretically clean that up and not make as much mess as I'm making. 
So just clean that up and then do your line for your triangle. Now this is the first time I'm doing this sort of nail art so hopefully it will look all right. And then just fill in your triangle. Now they're supposed to be the same shape obviously but obviously these two are slightly slightly different. And then up the top here to fill it in I'm going to do lines going horizontally and just stop halfway and then I'm going to fill them in and make them into little triangles as well. Now I should just actually pop another one there and fill those in. So I'm making like little triangles all the way up the the V and just filling them in with this detail brush. Now this isn't very opaque yet but I will go in with the second coat and then the same the other side. So try and match it up and don't put too much um, product on your brush because it looks thick and lumpy then like mine's coming out. So just fill in three little lines, one there, one there and about there and then just to fill in your triangles and obviously that top one you can just fill in there. So you should have roughly that effect and then repeat the steps exactly on the bottom one. So I'm just going to do that to save time and I'll be back. Okay, so that's been in the lamp now. I'm just um, touching up the bits that need to be made a bit more opaque and I've already cheated and done most of it. So I'm just going in with my brush and just, just filling it in so that you can't see any of the orange underneath. So it is a bit fiddly. And I think the more practice the neater this will be because I've, my edges aren't as crisp as I'd like them and I'm rushing it to get it on the video so take your time with this make sure your edges are perfect clean up with your brush with isopropyl alcohol just make sure you've covered all the bits um, all the little triangles so that they are black black so I hope that was in frame I'll have to check that if it wasn't that's the idea so now that is basically the finished nail I'm just going to cure that and I'll come back when it's top okay, so this is the finished nail now it is not perfect obviously the triangles could do with a lot more work but I was sort of just wanted to give you a rough idea and get through the video as quickly as I could obviously if you're doing it you can clean up with the isopropyl alcohol on a brush and neaten up the lines. I just hope this is um, giving you a bit of an idea of uh, some simple nail art you can do and there's all sorts of different Aztec inspired prints if you have a look on things like Instagram and Pinterest. Um, I hope this did give you an idea of some nail art and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up. Um, and I just wanted to show you the one that I did last in my last video which you should be able to find easily but I'll pop a link to that in the description bar as well. So that's another one that you could do for a feature nail. Um, like I said, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Any comments you've got, pop them in the comments box and I'll get back to you. I'll leave all the information on the Andrea gel polish in the description bar. And if you haven't subscribed, please just, please do so because I will be having regular videos every week. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.